Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank God for each and every one of you this morning. My name is Pastor Thomas Miller with New Life Church of Faith in Danville, Illinois. And I just give honor to God and to each and every one of you that have tuned in this morning and thanking God for another opportunity to pray together with uh, all of the pastors and everyone that have joined this morning. Uh, I want to say that we have no prayer requests uh, from yesterday, and uh, today uh, we're going to focus on medical supplies. And uh, I'd like to just start us off by reading a couple verses of Scripture And I want to start us with Psalms 23, and only the first verse, Psalms 23. And the first verse of Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Amen? And then we want to turn over uh, to Philippians in that fourth chapter. And we want to look at the 19th verse, Philippians 4 and 19. And the Bible says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so, you know, since we are focusing on medical supplies, I have noticed in the scripture that in Psalms 23, when he says that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. I've recognized by the Holy Spirit that this means not just need. Most of the time we are very conservative and are uh, approaching God about things. But here he says, since he is our shepherd, that means there is not just a supply of need, but also what you want. And he tells us if you delight yourself in him, he'll give you your heart's desire. I want us to understand that when we come to God, he not only gives us what we need, But he says, since he's our shepherd, you shall not want. Everything will be supplied. And then in that 19th verse, it says, but he shall, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And riches uh, implies not a shortage, not, you know, a little bit, but riches means an abundance. So I want us to focus on the fact that God uh, will make it so that we have everything. And even this subject today, our medical supplies. So let's begin to just give God praise and glory and honor this morning thanking him again for all of the pastors, for Minister Jeff Folson and Sister Phyllis and everyone on the line. We thank you, Father. We thank you for this 21st day of April 2020. We thank you. And, Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor for being our shepherd, the one that watches over the sheep, the one that leads us uh, by the still waters and the green pastures that you supply everything that we need and want. We thank you. It's according to your riches in glory. So as we, Father, are aware that there's been great concerns uh, from 
our governors around the country concerning medical supplies for those that are on the front line, uh, all of the essential workers, especially, Father, this morning, we're asking you to supply all the medical needs uh, that the doctors need, uh, the nurses need, all those that are involved with, Lord, combating this COVID-19. We are asking you, Father, according to your riches in glory, that, Lord, we have so many great uh, examples of you supplying what your people need. We, we, we are aware that, Lord, you said even in the midst of a famine, Lord, you would feed us. You would be there for us, Lord. We, 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 we know the story in the Bible of the Shumanite woman in the midst of the famine. And, Lord, how you supply her uh, what she needed when she was obedient and gave the first cake to Elijah the prophet. And the oil never ran out in the midst of a famine. So we know, God, that it's not uh, a question of if, it's only Lord, if we will trust you, and we're going to ask in this prayer collectively, we agree that supplies supernaturally, hallelujah, will begin to manifest, that beyond the natural to the realm of the supernatural supply that comes from heaven, we know, Lord, that even in Israel's disobedience while they were 40 years in the wilderness, Hallelujah, how God, you uh, rained down manna from heaven. And then, Lord, you brought the quails in, and they just fell right in their camp. And then, Lord, you turned rocks in the water fountains. Lord, we know that you supplied everything that the Israelites, the children of God, needed. Their clothes did not. Uh, wear out and their shoes did not wear out. And you provided them, Lord, with a, a, a cloud by day, hallelujah, and you, you had light for them at night, God. And so as we are in the midst of the pandemic, we are agreeing right now in this prayer that supernatural medical supplies begin to multiply just like it was for the Shumanite woman. It didn't run out, God. And so we are uh, joining our faith together in you, the God of our salvation, uh, Jesus, our high priest, that right now we, we welcome you and thank you for joining this prayer group. Every day we prayed and every day that we will pray, you live to make intercessions, and, and you are speaking to the Father on our behalf, and, and you are saying, Father, uh, provide them with the medical supplies for all of the masks and, and Lord, all of the uh, medical coverings that they need, Lord, that you, Lord, supply them with the ventilators, Lord. We are asking, Lord, that you make available, Lord, the, the, the planes that bring them in, and you uh, bring the, the, the drivers and the pilots together and, and the, the truck drivers, Lord, and, and everyone, God, that is a part of this uh, process of making sure that the medical supplies are made available to everyone in the name of Jesus. And, Father, for all 50 states, Lord, uh, no matter if they're at the very top of the list or the bottom, no matter, we are agreeing that you supply every nurse with what she needs, every doctor with what he needs. And then, Lord, for all of those that are working, God, also making sure that our nurses and doctors and, and our medics and everyone that's on the front line have nourishment, God, supply the food, Lord, uh, supply the, uh, the volunteers, Lord, all of those that are working 
uh, to provide food, Lord. Let there be uh, 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 more than enough food supply, Lord, those uh, that are tired in their bodies, and, and Lord, they need rest. Lord, uh, provide the, the relief person uh, that will uh, stay healthy, Lord. Keep uh, all of the nurses and the doctors healthy so that they, Lord, uh, will be able to continue to serve. And so provide them with the necessary rest that they need. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let them that are under attack in their bodies, uh, that are on the front line, Lord, let them, Lord, receive medical supplies that they will also uh, be taken care of. Father, we're praying as we're hearing uh, more uh, calls uh, around the country concerning those that are working, Lord, uh, supplying the food, and that we are hearing of these uh, 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 food supply chains, uh, the, the factories that are shutting down because the employees are getting sick. So, Lord, supply all those, Lord, uh, on the front lines that are providing the food, uh, uh, providing and, and, and making it happen, Lord, so that we have food on our table. Supply them with healing, Lord. Uh, uh, supply them with all the necessary uh, supplies of protection as they're working, Lord, to provide food. And, Lord, we thank you for it. Lord, supply uh, compassion from the owners of these companies, Lord, that may uh, focus on the bottom line instead of the needs of their employees. Lord, you touch their hearts, Lord, and, and remove, Lord, greed and, and, and concerns about profits, Lord, that they will supply, Lord, uh, all that their workers need. Lord, uh, we pray now that there is stockpiles of medical supplies and that they may be held up because of government regulations. They may be held up because of politics and, and uh, uh, others that are greedy. Lord, supernaturally release, Lord, uh, the supplies, the medical supplies, Lord, that are already sitting in warehouses, Lord, uh, cause, Lord, these uh, places to be discovered and, and, and revealed, Lord. And then, Lord, we cause a supernatural release of the medical supplies, Lord, we're praying now for all that are making the decisions, Lord, from President Donald John Trump uh, to the Senate, to the House, that they would, Lord, some um, way that they may not even, even understand it, but they come in agreement and provide all of the small businesses the resources to be able to take care of their uh, employees, Lord, uh, that they can then, Lord, not need the medical uh, uh, frontline help because of becoming frustrated and then uh, becoming careless and, and then becoming, Lord, uh, depressed and suicidal. And uh, they, they just load up the 911 call lines because they have need. God calls those decision makers to release, Lord, the resources calls them to release, Lord, the, the money, Lord, and, and the medical supplies for all of those that are now, Lord, needing help, Lord. We're praying for you to comfort today the families, God, that even now have suffered, Lord, the loss of their loved ones because of this pandemic. God, we're praying now that you supply the, the, the funeral homes, Lord, that they will be able to uh, care for these families, Lord, whatever they need, Lord, uh, to uh, embalm those that have passed away, God. Supply them with all that they need in caring for our loved ones in the name of Jesus. And then, Father, for all of my brothers, uh, pastors are on the line. Supply them with all the medical supplies they need uh, for their for their self, for their families, for their congregations. Even being uh, resources, God, and channels for the community in which they live. Lord, use all of us 
to be a supply line, God, that we would be willing, God, amen, Father, to be also a part of the medical supply. We're praying for all on the line today that anyone, Lord, that needs medical supplies, they receive it, God, need prescriptions, God, need money, God, they, whatever they need, God, uh, you supply all that we need according to your riches in glory. Thank you, Lord. It's so uh, 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 exciting to me. It's, it's so encouraging to know that we have a, a Father in heaven that is supplying us and not we are just limited to men, but God, you are our source, and you are the creator of everything, God. Everything that we have uh, have come in, in the natural through another human being. So, Father, we thank you at the top because you're the source of it, God. You created every man and every woman, and God, it's because of you that that man and that woman was able to create the medical supplies. And so we thank you. Uh, we praise you. And so we're clear here in our prayer this morning that you are our source. Hallelujah. Everything starts with you. You said it now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it's the evidence of of things not seen. And so, Lord, right now, right now, our faith is activated that you are supplying every medical need. And that, Lord, uh, we are uh, agreeing in this prayer, Lord, that you are, Lord, the invisible that makes it all become visible. And even now, we are expecting to hear after we pray, oh, God, the news reports that there is a release because, God, uh, your, your, your children, God, your servants got up this morning, and we begin in our prayer time, Lord, of interceding for those, Lord, that need the medical supplies. Um, we may not be on the front line, but, Lord, we're on the front line because we are all a part of the human family. So, Lord, we're thanking you now for supplying whatever they need. Whoever needs it, we're thanking you that we're not limited to the natural world, but we have a supernatural anointing that is the one that makes it happen, God. You, God, you the one, Lord, that used one man and prayed, Elijah, and God, water uh, did not even come upon the face of the earth for three and a half years. And then, Lord, that same man prayed, and it began to rain, Lord. So we know that we don't need 10,000 on the line this morning. All we need is just one of us that will make a petition, that will come boldly this morning and say, Lord, God, our Father, which art in heaven, hallow would be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. The supply line, open heavens, Lord, now angels begin to descend and begin to cause uh, uh, the enemy's plans wherever he has held up these supplies. We call now angels down, and they get involved with uh, uh, releasing all that we need. And, God, we thank you. You are the source, God. You are the one that we are, are going to uh, first, and then we're going to thank you. Hallelujah, that you are supplying it right now. Lord, you said it, that you look for a man to stand in the gap. And God, you said singular, a man, and you could not find one. Well, Father, uh, with all humility and humbleness, we are coming this morning more than one to stand in the gap for those on the front line to make intercessions, God, to make up the heads, God, that they receive, Lord, everything that they need. And, God, we thank you not just a little bit because you said you came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. So we thank you for an abundant supply of medical supplies more than enough. 
hallelujah, not just a little bit, but more than enough. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you. Hallelujah, that we count it a privilege to be an intercessor this morning. Thank you that our most powerful weapon is prayer. You said it. You said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. And, Lord, you said you don't dwell in mortar and clay. So, Lord, our buildings are closed, but our hearts are open. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the prayer line is still open, God. We, we're still through the technology, Lord, of even this conference call. Two of us are agreeing. And you said it, just two or three of us agree together as touching anything. We are touching right now medical supplies. We don't need to physically touch because we know that there was a word in the Bible that said when the man's child was sick, amen, and, and he said, you know, I'm not worthy to come into your house. All you have to do is speak the word, and my child will be made whole. And so we know, Lord, that we're speaking the word right now. And what we're doing, Father, is asking you, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, speak a word. Just say, I grant it, and it's done. It don't matter what principality and whatever dominion and then those that are wicked in high places. Your name, Jesus, is far, far above every name that is named. And so in the name of Jesus, we just agree. We touch and agree, Lord, that medical supplies begin to manifest uh, supernaturally, uh, uh, that medical uh, supplies begin to show up, that uh, medical supplies begin to be revealed and uncovered, and that those nurses and doctors and, and those medics and, and everyone that's connected, those CNAs and, and all those, Lord, that are helping, Lord, in, in the nursing homes, in the hospitals, and in and, and the prisons, God, those that need medical supplies, Lord, because you love the inmate, God, because you said, when I was in jail, did you visit me? me. So we don't judge or condemn people that are incarcerated and that we do not put them in a category of less than. But Lord, you died for every inmate. Lord, you, you shed your blood for every uh, correctional officer, every warden, God. And so we're praying that they receive medical supplies, that whatever they need, Lord, uh, to uh, be rid of this virus, Lord, all the, oh, God, the testing, God, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for the test. Lord, there's been confusion uh, about the test and the availability of the test. Father, call supernatural, uh, uh, oh, Father, supplies of the testing God, that every uh, American that needs to be tested. And then, Father, we are not uh, ignorant of Satan, and he will try to limit it to only those that have a Social Security uh, card. But, Lord, everyone that's in this great America, and then we pray, Lord, for all around the world that need testing God. You supply the test. You supply those um, bodies, Lord, of medical people that can give the test for all those that are the scientists of medicine. Supply them, Lord, with the wisdom uh, to come up with a, uh, 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 um, oh, my God, uh, 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 an answer, God, to be able to have, Lord, uh, discovery, Lord, on how to rid us of this virus. Supply them with the wisdom. Supply them with all that they need in their labs, Lord. Uh, help them, Lord, that they won't say, well, if we had this or we had that. Everything that they need, Lord, supply it in the name of Jesus to all parts of this whole uh, body, Lord, of, of medical supplies, what all that entails that I'm not aware of, but you know, you know everything that they need in medical supplies. And so, Father, right now, we're going to thank you. Hallelujah. We're going to give you praise, and, and we're going to give you glory, and we're thanking you 
in advance. Right now, God, we're going to be uh, 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 tuned in uh, for a confirmation over the uh, uh, the news lines today. When we, we hear news reports, we're going to hear, we decree and declare it, that supplies have opened up and that testing has been made available. And it's the rapid testing. It's not the, the delay of days, but within the next uh, the, the test that rapid testing, five minutes, 15 minutes, you'll have results. And, Lord, that it won't just be 1% of the American people, but all that need to be tested. So we can, uh, with responsibility and, and, and with wisdom, return back to our jobs and, and back to our schools and, and especially back to our local churches so we can worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we thank you and we praise you that it's done. Uh, we, we, we decree and declare it's done. Right now, medical supplies have been released supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Again, we thank God for all of you, and we give God all the praise. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank Thank you, Lord. Again, we thank God for you and everyone that have tuned in. Uh, we just want to just say to you again, uh, if you have any prayer requests, then you can go to 21 Day Prayer at Gmail dot com and uh, one of us uh, one of the pastors will reach out to you or we will bring that prayer request uh, to you tomorrow and we'll pray together uh, about whatever the the need may be and so we again uh, just thank God for you and again for Minister Jeff Sister Folson and all of the pastors it's truly have been a blessing and a privilege uh, to be included to pray together, and I'm just excited now about what God has done through all of the prayers uh, and the, the finishing up of the 21 days and just, again, knowing that we haven't seen everything. Uh, our prayers and our labor has not been in vain, and so we're just going to continue to have great testimonies uh, from all of us that have been a part. So, again, God bless you. And look forward uh, to praying with you tomorrow. Amen. God bless.